And this was, there was something in the United States that was called nigger work, that white people did not do that kind of work. That was the difficult, nasty, back-breaking, dirty work. Africans did that. Garbage man. There never was a thing like a white man carrying the garbage. And, 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 and it was just black people who did that kind of work. And when I was growing up, uh, working on the city, black people could not drive the tractors or drive trucks because they'd be up higher than the white people. Only the white people in this city, in my lifetime, that was the case. And uh, so, so, you know, that was just the reality that we were confronted with. And, and there has not been a fundamental difference. That's one thing I want to say. That's one thing that's really helpful about living a long period of time is that you see a continuum. And the reality is that people get born in a situation and give the impression it haven't always been like that. But it hasn't always been like that. And, uh, and there has been a continuum, there has not been a fundamental change in the conditions of the existence of our people. I was talking to John earlier today. The city of St. Petersburg wants to talk about its inclusivity and the growth in civil rights that's happened in this city. You go to City Hall now, if, if you didn't know any better, you'd think you were in, a, in, in Africa someplace, all them black people in the front and running this thing, etc. But the reality is that's nothing but show. And when, when 50 years ago, when that Europe was torn down, there were three or four nightclubs Black people own nightclubs. I ain't talking about no joints, no joints. I'm talking about real nightclubs. There were several grocery stores, Bill Gregory, Sydney Hart. Uh, I forgot the name of the store that was up there on Third Avenue. There were several businesses, you know, uh, uh, were all over this place. Uh, some, some, there, there were uh, full service uh, uh, filling stations and things like that that we owned. There were restaurants. There were furniture stores that Dan Davis owned, you know, uh, right down the street. That 50 years ago, we had that. Today, the only thing you got is a Negro who can sit up at the front of the city in City Hall to give the impression that black people got something when we don't have a damn thing. We worked off today 50 years later. 50 years later, we are a hundred times worse off in terms of our material conditions than we were when that mural came down. They're talking about inclusivity and the progress we made around civil rights and the rest of that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <